Hello, I'm Horned Reaper and today, by popular demand, I sorted out all the bugs that raised doubts about the honesty of the speedrun. And in this section, answers to the most common questions on streams and in the comments, such as Cheetah here stores stamina sharply. So why does he pass some mode without sea emission on the Red Forest and without helicopters on the Chernobyl plant? And why Sidrich let him go immediately? Streamer, why are you jumping? Jumping slows you down. Try to run simply, it will be faster, I tell you. Well, perhaps the most interesting thing is where can I download a cheat called an elevator? For this and some other information, see the video below. And now let's explain what kind of cheat this is. In fact, it is essentially a double block that works only on Zero Stalker. Who remembers the speedrun on the 6th version of Stalker? We used a bug called Raspriga or specific jump. Once again I will explain how it is done. When we are just running and jumping, we inevitably and quickly get tired. But given the fact that the player doesn't stop instantly when we take our finger off the forward button, but also the player's figure goes to a standing position instantly. It turns out we have a small amount of time when we can jump within standing position, while almost without losing speed. If this happens, then during the entire jump the player rests and accumulates stamina. Thus, with the light weight, you can run endlessly or almost. But the Zero version of Stalker allows to do it much more efficiently. We know that inventory and also the PDA shows the time, in game story time. A minute of such time is approximately equal to 6 real seconds, but the Zero version has such a feature, a developer tool that they forgot to remove. This is an acceleration of this time by a factor of approximately 100. You can activate it by pressing the multiply key on the side keyboard. Here we immediately see the changes. This time affects many processors in game. For example, we see here how the weather changes before our eyes, the time of day and also urgent tasks fail. We also get hungry and soon we will die from it. In addition to this, we can see that the player gets tired sharply when trying to accelerate and when he stops, he sharply recovers. You can turn off this acceleration by pressing the slash button that is nearby. If we grab radiation and accidentally press the time acceleration button, then we will instantly die. And now how you can use this? During the normal state the player's health is restored. Naturally we can speed up this process a hundred times. Artifacts that allow you to restore health better when accelerating time generally allow you to sit in a fire, for example. And now closer to the speedruns. Probably many noticed that I ran Chernobyl Plant 2 with low health. But how did it recover? And just like that, it was restored. I can't restore health while running by accelerating time, because I'll get tired quickly. So it remains to be done during the elevators. The combination of such bugs just gives such a result on the speedrun. Namely, during the jump we must have time to speed up and slow down time, so that the stamina has time to recover. But when we land, we must continue on. Now about how Sidorich allows you to open the door 
if it doesn't open at all in the normal situation. So, Mark One, I saved you. And I'm not going to pretend I did it to win favors upstairs. Everything is extremely simple. We can break some game scenarios just by pressing quick save and quick load during synchronizing. In the same way, we can break helicopters on any map, for example in prepad. We remember that at the beginning helicopters start flying. By simply saving loading while synchronizing, we completely break them. You see, even the dude twitched in confusion. Guys, someone stole helicopters! And now about more global hacks. We all remember the Red Forest map. The most atmospheric and terrible maps in game. So terrible that even from the first steps on this map you already want to do the same as him. What is the charm of this map that we meet C impact approximately in this zone that hits us about every 5 seconds? And when approaching the transition to prepared, a C strike already removes half of our health at once. Hold speedrun gears to pass even through strikes. In so doing, you need to know the borders of the impact zones, have at least two medkits and be able to run the last zone in less than 5 seconds, that is, between impacts. But now everything is much easier. The red force can be broken in such a way that the impacts won't work at all. The first version of the hack looked like this. While running around the map, we set the cursor on the inscription burn in case of zero version and impact in 6. Then you need to quickly press save, pause, escape to exit into the menu and quickly end the game. The cursor is already on the desired line. After the end of the game, the timer stops and now we can prepare. Prescriptions are prepared on console, such as save one and load one for example, then use quick save that we just saved. And during synchronizing by quickly calling the last command entered, up arrow, we enter the save one command and our red force breaks fully, right at this moment. When loading this save, that is load one, we get to a clean red forest. But the last option was even faster. It's fully executed on the first loading into the red forest. To do this, you need to catch the moment loading textures. At this moment, press pause, wait until synchronizing appear, 
and then quickly press pause plus quick save. Then quickly quick load. From the outside it will look like a normal hacking of helicopters. But in fact there was a much deeper hacking. In the same way you can hack the Chernobyl power plant map. In addition to the fact that at the beginning we don't have helicopter flying. Various bug appear like monoliths shooting at themselves. Lack of a counter and in the case of a 6th version of Stalker, silently flying helicopters. But the most important thing, perhaps, is the absence of monolithons at the entrance to the sarcophagus. And now let's deal with this story. A huge number of wise advisors on streams advise me to stop jumping. Let's finally confirm or disprove this myth. So I fixed the starting point prepared a timer and measured how long it takes to bunny jump to that tree. It turned out to be 9.8 seconds. And now we'll return to the starting point and just run without jumping the same section. Ten point eight seconds. The difference is a whole second in a small area of map. I hope I absolutely convinced the skeptics. And all thanks to the fact that the horizontal speed of the jump is much bigger than running, and even with a small stops at the landing, it turns out to be faster. Also, jumping can be used with dexterity to avoid obstacles. Despite the fact that the door at the end of garbage is closed, it is not fixed by anything and can be moved by yourself and by any flying object, although someone behind may not like it. Now about the elevator. I hasten to upset you, this is not some kind of cheat, this is a bug, but the most mysterious bug in Stalker. In order to walk, you first need to know where it can walk. It only walks on flat surfaces, and it doesn't walk even on most seemingly flat surfaces. And yes, it can also do so. You just need to know the points and zones of the elevators, find or peep from the speedrunners. Being at the point of elevator, it's better for us to sit down, make one small movement back. After releasing the back button, we approximately count the time equal to one third of a second, and after that we press the jump. At any moment of jump, we can press forward button, and in this way we will enter the elevator, as if stuck in the air or moving slowly up down. To rise, you must quickly release and press forward again. Each time releasing and pushing forward, we increase the speed of the elevator. But the higher speed, the more dangerous it becomes. The exit from elevator is carried out by releasing the sitting button, but such an exit often does not work. Then plan B. Exit from the elevator can be done with a sharp turn back, but this option already spends more health. The elevator is not limited in height and speed, so here it's like a fantasy wise. About a series of tricks at the end of speedrun to see consciousness. In addition to a bunch of elevators, this is a feature here. You need to enter the portal in a jump. Then with two movement buttons in the air we can increase the speed and take the player in the direction we need. After touching the ground, do not forget about the medkit and acceleration. The same thing the highest dangerous elevator is best done with you back to the pipe. When we reach the desired height, release the squared button, release forward and quickly press forward and move left, and immediately turn smoothly towards the pipe. Thus we get a proper strafe and a high approach speed. But the elevator is actually a deeper topic, and I will release a separate video about it, which will be the next one. 
I hope I convinced at least someone today and deserved your like. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.